Well, hello, folks, and welcome back. Uh, we are at Dragon's Nest right now. Uh, after that last little bit of weirdness with the freezing and not dying, I looked up uh, some more patches. I removed one that apparently I didn't need anymore. Um, I ran a save file cleaner. I am not expecting much. But we'll see. People are eating food now, which is good. Um, I just told them to retreat. I'm, I, I had them dismissed in waiting, because it was a requirement of the clean saver. We'll see what happens. I just ran it, and I'm like, hey, let's 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 go test the game. Let's go play. We're still going to head up to Solitude at some point. I'm ready if you are. I just want to make sure my companions are actually following me. So I also had to... I also set up a home base. That way my companions wouldn't run away and get lost. I would have hated if I had to hunt them down. They better be around here. Don't worry about me. I don't need a break. Yeah, yeah. They'll just chill. There's a lot of options that you can set up. When it comes to your base, by the way. I'll show you a little bit since I did it off screen. So I was going to have to close and exit the game a couple times and... Didn't feel like recording that. But you can set up a base, multiple bases. You can name it. Uh, change the locations. You can set schedules for working and relaxing. Not really sure what that does. Probably makes them do things like uh, water the plants around the area. Around the cell, maybe. Like farm and stuff. You can have them relax. Uh, I added all of the followers to this current base. There's work time and end times and relax times and sleep times and everything. So you can you can um micromanage your base pretty damn good. Let's go Elsif and Mystic Blue. Excellent. Follow me. I did disable the friendly fire. Um mod because quite frankly I was I want to use her as a companion but I cannot abide getting fucking frozen for like two minutes at a time unless an enemy comes to beat beat on me I don't plan to loot anything from this place but I just wanted to check it out Eris I wasn't going to take you but since you've disappeared on me anyways that does make it easier to just leave and not feel guilty. Let's get going. Yeah. Okay. I honestly have no idea I, I, idea where Eris is. Okay. Er, oh fucking hell. I forgot that it's raining. Also a bit fatigued. In and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. Close the damn door. I've got your back. Hail, Dragonborn. Hmm. Let's go to bed. What do you mean owned? I'm guessing my companions own those beds because I've assigned them to the house. Okay, I get the good bed. Let's go ahead and rest until morning. Please, and thank you. I'm trying to be a more gentler, more polite plump. For now. I need about the lack of drinks. Well, that... I hopefully have fixed as well. Eat your breakfast. Shut up and get your drinks. Refill your... I guess we don't have a functioning sink that I can... 
You know, that is water. Can I refill? I'm gonna hold down the refill command. Probably not. Yes, today on Cooking with Plump, we're going to cook the, um, the sea serpent shank. What do we got there? The sauteed sea serpent. The sauteed southern seas sea serpent shank. For fuck's sake, Rain. Fine. Thank god it's gone. <laughs> Uh, now my question is, you know what? Fuck it. We'll run from here on foot. Is everyone with me? We're down a companion. Down a healer, actually. I'm not gonna feel too bad. Honestly, she was starting to feel a little bit traumatized, I believe. From all the combat. Damn, that's a nice mountain back there. A nice mountain fort with the clouds blowing around it. Texture Z errors, Z level errors or something. I point out all of this shit because it's what stands out to me. It's the, uh, uh I made this comment on a previous video, uh, like the very first one I uploaded. And basically, this is like modding Bethesda games or games in general and just seeing how far you can push them. It's kind of like my generation's, or at least this hobby's version of building a highly detailed model car or a ship in a bottle something like that it's entirely unnecessary but it's a unique detailed experience that puts pretty much all of the skills that you've got to use in trying to come up with a unique experience for yourself that is pretty much a ship in a bottle because no one else will have the same experience as you it's not like I can give you guys my mod pack uh, it, I'm, I, my data file folder right now is like a hundred gigabytes and I don't even think I'm halfway done with what I want to do, so. Where the, where, where the hell would I upload that at, for one? For two? Uh, yeah, I don't know. You know what I'm saying. It's a ship in a bottle, basically. That's why it's so fun put so much effort and time into it. Now my question is, back on topic, back on track, I tried to go through there and died, but that's because I froze to death. I could follow the warmer route this way, get on this side of the river, at the very least. Oh, a cute little baby mud crab. Seeing those crabs, um, makes me want to see a game like this. This detail, basically this entire, this exact setup, except with a theme of, um, the Stormlight Archive series. I haven't been up here, have I? No. Well... Like, a game set in the world of the Stormlight Archive, during the books. Oh, is that right? You'll probably kill me, too. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. I'm really sorry, too. What the hell is going on here? Why are these ghosts so sorry? I don't like the sound of that. What? You... Oh no! Now we're gonna need some serious guns for this one. Oh, there's it.
just have to lean back there for a second. Scratch my head and, uh... What the fuck? Okay, that... Those beholders, no joke. That dungeon right there, uh-uh. The ghosts, probably no big deal. I could definitely deal with those, no problem. Uh, the beholder, though, that's guarding that place, nope. I'm going to assume that that's a beholder. It looks like a beholder to me. Kind of pissed that we're going all the way this far back, but... It's a good, good way to... Do I even have an athletic skill? I don't think I do. I was going to say, it's a good way to raise my athletic skill and get more stamina. Right? No. I get a jump the same stream I could cross that stream a million times if I lived for an eternity I could yeah I could jump it an infinite amount of times and I would always try to jump over it I think that there's some characteristics that some people have and some people don't that no matter how long they were around they would always express those characteristics some people would just wade through the water, not even give a fuck. Some people would demand that a bridge be built and raise an empire in order to get that bridge built. Some of us would playfully run and jump over that stream. Because that's what we're here for, honestly. Just to run around and have fun. And not go to fucking runes like that. Get my ass kicked. Wolf, please don't. Having a very nice, peaceful jog along the river. This is almost the type of place I would want to set up a camp at. We could live on these plains for a while. Fighting whatever the world decided to spawn or throw at us. As so we spent the time cooking. And hunting. There is another massive mod that I want to install called the Huntsman mod. I believe. But, uh... It'll be after this series, because it is uh, another one of those... I do not add mods that uh, you should only add at the start of a series whenever I'm in the middle of recording, because that's a good way to break absolutely everything. So I get my... Yeah, in or, whenever I was going to do this, whenever I decided I was going to start recording some videos, I got it to a stable kind of playlist, or a stable kind of load order. And now I've just been adding small little tweaks here and there. And then after this is done... And I know that it's stable because I've been testing it for hours and hours and hours at this point. I can start adding more stuff. More massive stuff. Hello, little rabbit. So, that's probably a good settlement down there. Where even am I? Kind of going in the right direction if I keep going this way. I got slightly distracted. Okay, that last power strike was a little bit unnecessary, but I was panicking. That thing could kill me in like a hit or two if it, if it landed its claws on me. Well, that's a fucking dead end. I can't climb the rocks. Possible that could be a bandit camp down there. If I had a spyglass... I could check out their gear. I'm gonna die here. And the game's like, and guess what, plump? You haven't saved it in ages. 
I thought that thing flapping in the wind was like a, a dragon wing for a second. Also. That is a big claw daddy down there. I don't know if he's alive or not. Nope. Fisherman. If th I wish that this game had actual good fishing. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Like, take this game right here. Okay, let's let's dream for a moment. Take this game with this these graphics, make it virtual reality, which is all already a thing. There is Skyrim VR, which has a lot of people developing mods for it. Not as much as Skyrim SE, but it's coming along quite nicely as well. Now imagine that, but an MMO with thousands of other players in a VR world running around, exploring, crafting, trying to survive. Do you hear me, Bethesda? The first company that makes an absolute killer VR app like that will be legendary. Because there hasn't been a major shift, a major game change in gaming in, in ages. I mean, we had the jump from 2D to 3D, which was huge. We had online connectivity, which was pretty massive, allowed for patches, online gaming, subscription-based uh, MMOs and things like that. Uh, what, what has come since? Higher definition graphics? I'm, I'm sorry, but back in 1996, I, if you would have told me that Super Mario 64 was as good as it was going to get because it looked so damn good, I would have believed you. Graphics are graphics don't matter. Uh, the the jump from Super Mario 64 to this was not as groundbreaking as Super Mario 3 to Super Mario 64 or Super Mario or Super no Why am I saying Super Mario 3? It'd been Mario 3 and then Super Mario and then yeah, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. But I am just waiting for that that just that groundbreaking VR experience before I dive divest a thousand dollars in a in a headset and controllers and room sensors. Mystic Blue, where the hell are you? You almost make a song out of that. Oh, oh, Mystic Blue. Where the fuck are you? You're pretty much the best combat companion I've got, which is... Probably what I'm gonna need. Deadman's Respite, huh? You know, she did give me something. Whenever I gave her the old pat down. Where is it? It was... Teleport Mystic Blue. Now the question is, how do I use this spell? Never actually cast magic before. Teleport spell... It looks pretty. Welcome back, honey. She's like, she's some type of mystic demon is what she is. That's why I can just summon her like that. We'll just pretend that's her lore. I really want to use the Sword of Chaos, but... Are you ready? Are you all ready? I love that sound her sword makes. I love it. Dead men's respite. Let's give these dead men hell. And make sure that we send them there as well. An alien head on the wall? Oh wow, there's a lot of them. Love it. Watch out. Yeah. 
Nobody likes it when they're sweaty. I mean, some people claim to like it when they're sweaty. And it can be fun to get sweaty. But I think most of us would prefer to be comfortable. And not sweaty. Uh, ancient Nord Arrow. Maybe I should stock up on those. Like, how... How much should I search through here? Because there's honestly no telling what I might find in these abandoned ruins. Ruby Dragon Claw. Watch out, I don't know what I did. There's some Indiana Jones shit going on here. The whole temple collapses in on itself. Suddenly. What's my weight? Oh, I'm doing I'm doing good, baby. I am doing great. Got like 60 pounds I can hold still. Okay. Really there's an embalming pick. That's kind of disgusting. I see a door there. The question is where is it open at? Thanks for the light. Oh. Hey, actual a potion of health. That might be an exit. Really? These rats are how we get rickets, folks. Damn dirty dungeon rats. Where the hell did you come from? He's like, you opened the door. Put it back. I don't want to put it back. It could be worth a lot, so... I'll take my chances at getting... At getting rickets. Not a big fan of Blue Ghost Guy leading me on. Yeah, if he goes left, we go right. I believe that's how it works. Soul gems? Again, I know soul gems are used for capturing souls of monsters and recharging. Uh, magic items? But other than that, I have absolutely no idea how they work. <laughs> Did they... Watch the sides? I hear them on the other sides of the door. I was gonna say... Oh shit. Right through my shield. I think that was a good fight up until then. And then a rat pops out. I'm gonna eat this dead guy right here. Rat. I'm a rat. We'll get his gold coins and all that cheese. That he's carrying around in his damn pockets. Cause he's got a lot of it. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Okay, yeah, they uh, they attack that ghost, whoever the hell it is. Ladies, please, I need to back up. Okay, you know what? Combat is a whole lot more fun when I'm not getting fucked over by my companions. I have to admit, maybe that was that was one of the big mistakes the entire time. I was trying to make it too hard on myself. Watch your flank. Jesus, there's so many of them. I can hear them. Watch out. She's like, I don't care. Really? That was interesting. Okay. 
it possible for me to seal myself out of the area? That's going to be slightly confusing. I better save it. Fuck. Oh no. What the? What the? <laughs> what was that? Uh. A spider figment? Yeah, you're just gonna have to walk that one off. What the hell is a spider figment? All I saw was it fling the green looking creepy ass spider at me. I don't I don't need a goblet. Thank you. Or a skull. I'm not I'm not building a gothic lair anywhere. Even though it is tempting, don't get me wrong. I'm just not quite ready to settle down. Decorate a actual house or anything I'm a man who wants to adventure and get four septums from reaching up the anus of a dead draugr there wait a second really does anyone have a light you could use a torch here I feel like I'm missing something I know we've got this hole here drops into clouds which I'm not gonna lie that's kind of spooky that almost looks like a fake wall Let's get going. yeah I know eat up I guess if you need to wait here we go I'm gonna save it and jump in I feel like this is a terrible idea, but blue, why is one of your arrows down there? God, where the hell am I? Are you serious? I need a stronger drink than the tea that I've got right now. There are not enough words. I'm glad I can hear a steam demon from hell breathing on the floor above me, possibly. The ice man coming. Yeah, break me free, thank you. Are you? I think she's hacking at me. She's trying to hack the ice away. I'm so proud of you. My favorite companion. Mystic Blue, I'm gonna fire you. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth right now? What the hell is happening? Other than my team apparently rushed ahead and killed everything. Thanks, guys. Thanks for everything.
The door is sealed by a magic barrier. What the hell? I like how the infected rat splashes like a large animal. It's good to know. Door. The door is a bastard. I thought I could fit between the two right there, but apparently not. Okay. How far back are we going now? All the way back to the very beginning. I mean, I guess that this isn't that bad. Hell. It's a damn shame I can't pick that up. Okay, and there's nothing down here. I'm gonna have to end the video soon. Let's power through. Where are you at, Skeever? Okay, maybe my companions didn't kill anything. Or maybe they killed that guy up there. Holy crap. Um, you, you, you brat. <laughs> okay. I thought that I could just casually sprint on through. You live and learn, babe. You live and learn. Sploosh. So, at this point, though, at least I know I can safely speedrun all the way up to here. My enemies are a skeever and... What is that? I guess I didn't really check over here. Nope, nothing there. I have to go through the Temple of Doom. rat how the hell am I gonna be assaulted by a rat crying out loud hmm. are you serious I cannot tell where the hitbox is no probably not because I'm terrible at this type of stuff I mean, I mean, I'm glad I didn't save it down here, I guess is what I mean. Skeever, please. I've got to find some. I'm gonna. I'm gonna save it up here because obviously I'm gonna keep dying. Uh, I could use a haste potion. It's like, what is even killing me? I have until. I could use a haste. I could use a haste potion. Try to run across. My companions sure as hell aren't going to be able to make it across. This is the worst thing I've run across so far. This is the absolute worst thing. Okay. Yeah, me. Oh shit, I'm about ready to die. Um, I need... I've got so many, so many choices. Chug a chug. Chug you. Say, I need more stamina. I'm up here alone. 
Companions, I'll lower you a rope. Just hang on. Just hang on. They can't teleport to me now, by the way. Because if you'll remember, I disabled that option. I'm not sure if the game will force it. After a set amount of time, but... An arcane enchanter? Yeah, okay. One of you could get up here. Don't shoot him, please. Also, this haste potion is gonna make me motion sick. Kinda sucks. Here, helmet. I'm not sure if there's a way to cancel it, so embalming pick. Welcome to the party. I'm glad you could join us. What the hell are you shooting at? Huh. Come on, ladies. But shooting at the door and come kill those these guys, would you? A fucking death lord? You I can hurt. Excuse me, we've got one more friend. Oh shit. I'm out of stamina. Nice shot. Can you... Can you not come back to- okay, fucking necromancer. I don't think we're gonna get through that door. Come on, we need to go around. Hell. Why is this just floating in the air? It's a shame that I- that that's not a door I can open. The hell? Fine. I think, he, I think he actually hurt me. Two can play at this game. Really? Come on. This way, please. Run away from them and follow me. Get your ass over here. That door is just a cock tease for now, I have a feeling. Ah. Uh, oh. Maybe I shouldn't have laughed. Um... Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, this video's gone on for 39 minutes. I forgot I was gonna end it right after I jumped in, because I honestly expected to die. Those weren't clouds at all, were they? So, uh, I'm gonna have to end it here. And whenever we come back, we'll continue to explore this hellish nightmare of a dungeon.